Hello everyone and welcome back to J1 Aviation. So on this channel, we like to review a couple potential questions from the FAA Private Pilot Knowledge Test. So today's questions are related to FARs and specifically about speed limits. That's right, not only do you have to worry about speed limits on the way to the airport, but also when you are flying around. So different airspace has different speed limits, but to be completely honest with you, most training aircraft will never reach or should never reach any of these speed limits. There are only two speeds you really need to remember, 200 and 250. Both of them are in knots and both of them are in indicated airspeed. So let's discuss each of these. The first one is the speed limit below 10,000 feet MSL and that limit is 250 knots indicated. So as a general rule of thumb, below 10,000 feet, uh, you need to be less than 250 knots indicated. Now the other more restrictive limits come into play when you are operating in or near other airspace. So let's look at class B airspace. Now there aren't any particular speed limits within class B. Of course you have the 250 below 10,000, that still applies. However, if you are flying under one of the class B shelves, or if you are flying through a class B VFR corridor, then the speed limit is 200 knots indicated. Now, if you are within class C or D airspace, those also have lower maximum speeds than 250. So if you are within four nautical miles of the primary class C or D airport, the speed limit there is 200 knots indicated as well. So all of this information is in 91.117 if you are curious to read more about it. So with that introduction in mind, let's look at some potential questions on the private pilot knowledge test. So question number one, when flying in a VFR corridor designated through class B airspace, the maximum speed authorized is 180, 200, or 250 knots. So uh, remember, in a VFR corridor, class B airspace, it's 200. It's less than the maximum. So question two, Unless otherwise authorized, what's the maximum indicated airspeed at which a person may operate an aircraft below 10,000 feet MSL? So this is just the blanket below 10,000 feet. What's the max airspeed? 200, 250, or 288? So remember, this one is 250. This is the higher of the two speeds. Now, the 288 is a little bit tricky because sometimes when you're reading manuals, it'll say like, the maximum speed is 250 knots and then in brackets is 288 miles per hour. So that's where the number 288 comes from, <laughs> where they're trying to trick you a little bit. But remember, the max speed under, under 10,000 feet MSL is 250 knots. Okay, the next question, when flying in the airspace underlying class B airspace, the maximum speed authorized is 200, 230, or 250 knots. Under class B airspace, A, 200 knots. And then the last one here, unless otherwise authorized, the maximum indicated airspeed at which aircraft may be flown when at or below 200, 2,500 feet AGL and within four nautical miles of the primary airport of class C airspace, and this also applies to class D airspace, 200, 230, or 250. The answer here is A, 200. So remember, under 10,000 feet, generally 250. If you're within four miles and 2,500 feet of the primary class C or D airport, 200. Flying through a VFR corridor in B airspace, 200. Under a B shelf, 200. So those are really the speeds that you need to concern yourself with and remember for the test. So there you go, a little information on aircraft speed limits. Thanks everyone for riding along today. We'll hope you join us on a future flight and thanks for flying J1 Aviation.